can't do that with a quarter. Are you kidding? Sure I can. I'll give you a dime for every quarter you can lay on in. That's a bet. Hey, you got any quarters? Sir. Hey, don't. Hi, can I get a uh, Miller? You got it. Three, four, five. Five is ten. Ten is twenty. Thank you. Next. Okay, Ace. Seven in a row. Yep, you're right. That's a dollar, Elliot. Hey! That was a deal. Time for every quarter. customer, as you know. But what's wrong? I can't understand this. It's something you almost never see. What is? This is some of the finest filigree platinum I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. But the stones, no. But not diamonds, Mrs. Langtree. But they must be. They, they cut glass. Glass will cut glass, Mrs. Langtree. Almost anything will. Come with me. Let me show you positive test for diamonds. Take this. Do you see how the water splashes over? How it slides off in a sheet? With real diamonds, it won't do that. It clings to the surface in tiny droplets. too badly disappointed with us, Mrs. Langtree. It's not your fault. You'll give us an opportunity to serve you again. I hope if there's anything you think we might be interested in. Well, I have only one thing now. Are you interested? Well, I would have to see it, of course. <laughs> you are seeing it. You're looking right at it. Mrs. Langtree, something like this very rarely happens. A fine setting and workmanship usually means precious stones. It always hurts me when I find they're not. I always hope I'm mistaken.
One too many, mister? What? Step away from the car. Never mind, let's see your driver's license. You seem pretty sick, Mr. Dillon. It's a bad shrimp, I think. It didn't quite taste right when I was eating it. I'm getting over it, though. Must I take you to the doctor? No, I'm fine now, thanks. I still got a lot of clients to see. Take it easy now. I will. Thank you. Have a good day now. Somebody to handle play back then. Maybe I'll swing around those sanglies on the way. They can get it. I sell on their stuff. Tapping them cute little piggy banks they all got. Mr. Dillon. Mr. Sims. Here's a potential neighbor of yours. Uh, Mrs. Langtree may drop by. I'll send her right up. That's the fine type of person I have in here, like yourself, I'm sure. Well, don't you want to see me? No, oh, honey, I can't go there. Well, you could be here in 20 minutes. In a minute. How you did that other one? Scram. Oh, I can't. I just left home. You're too young. You ought to be in school. I am in school. I have a spades. I have a spades. Where's the five? In your other hand. Good. You learned something. Bye. I want to learn everything. You want to be a grifter? Grifter? Yes. Not partners. That's your first lesson. Cut your score in half right down the middle. Worse than that, you take a partner, you put an apple on your head, and hand the other guy a shotgun. Grifters, huh? You know one, all right? Grifters got an irresistible urge to be the guy who's wise. There's nothing to look in a fool. 
Hell fools are made to be whipped. But to take another pro, even your partner, who knows you and has his eye on you, that's a score. No matter what happens. So you want to learn a few tricks? I'll teach you a few tricks. But your hand does not get into my pocket. It's a deal. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Forget the long con. If the full tips, you're cut. You'll do time. Never do time. And don't go dressing like that. Yeah. Showing off. Showing off. Any blind man could spot you. Yeah. Give me twenty dollars. Come around tomorrow. I'll take you again. Once we know each other, you're already so bored, you fall asleep before I get here. When you're not here, all I can do is dream about you, Myra. You stink. I hate you. Hmm. The twins seem to be very restless. Maybe we ought to put them to bed, huh? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to smother you. Death wears my sting. <laughs> you smell good, Myra. Like a bitch in a hot house. Oh, darling. <laughs> what a beautiful thing to say. Maybe you don't smell so good. I do too. You just said so. It could be a club. It's me. Do I have to prove Naturally. it? Naturally. <laughs> what? Sure, Mr. Sims. What can I do for you? I visited Mr. Dillon, a very attractive young lady. She says she's your mother. Send her up. Just instant. Be nice. Here we are. Come on, sit down, Louie. So what are we up to these days? Still handling playback money at the track. I'll be going back to Baltimore as soon as the races at La Jolla are finished. So you're working for that same bookmaker? Yeah. The new easy life. Usually. Got a great view, Roy. Yeah, I guess you've been getting my Christmas cards. I did have a sense of humor. Glad to see you, Lily. I'd have been hurt if you hadn't dropped by. I'm glad to see you too, Roy. I'm not sure what you're up to. Up to? I'm not up to anything, Lily. Come on, Roy. You can't kid me. You got so much more on the ball than I ever did. You know what it does to a person. Lily, why don't you mind your own goddamn business? Roy, what is it? A little sweat. God, your eyes cold. 
Don't laugh at me. Laugh? I'm not laughing at you, honey. Somebody hurt you, Roy? Got hit in the stomach a couple days ago. Let me see. Oh, no. Let me see. No. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell, it's Lily Dillon, doctor. I work for Justice Amusement Company out of Baltimore. And... What? Don't you brush me off, Buster. I have to get Bubble Justice to call you. Mr. Dillon, I'm sorry about the little disagreement on the phone. And I'm really sorry about your son. Well, it's hard to believe that such a strapping young man is it's your son. Never mind that. Just take care of him. No, he's had, he's had a, uh, an internal hemorrhage. He's bleeding to well, death. make it stop. His blood pressure's under 100. I, I, I don't think he's going to make it. You know much. who I work for. There's just so much I can do. My son is going to be all right. If not, I'll have him killed. Roy's mother? That's impossible. Not quite. But I'm not sure who you are, Mrs. Langtree, was it? I'm Roy's friend. Yes. I imagine you're lots of people's friend. Oh. Oh, of course. Now that I see you in the light, you're plenty old enough to be Roy's mother. Aren't we all? Play nice. Don't fight. Darling. Roy. You're going to be all right. Sure I am. What am I doing here? You're bleeding inside, honey. Remember that bruise you had? You called the doctor, huh? Well, no, Roy. Your mother did. Oh, yeah? Thanks. How long do they say until I can get out of here? Roy, your mom saved your life. Second time I gave it to you. I was kind of inconvenient for Lily. And she was only 14 when I came along. In fact, I used to be her kid brother. Well, or so she'd say. Well, you're all right now, I guess. It's a two hour drive. I'm late. I have to go down to the track. Thanks, uh, Lily. Don't mention it. I guess I owe you my life. You always do. Down to the track? La Jolla. Good job. I want to know everything about you. Number seven, two, 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 Celebrate star, pay pay, moves in and two to one. Now, two to door, moves in the gate, still running high, comes at seven to one. City, sex with my baby. Uh, the usual, I guess. And that's it? What else? Well, that's what I want to know. Is, is this all we have for always sex with my baby? Not that I'm knocking it, but is that all? What are you driving at, Myra? Marriage? I didn't say that. Uh, well, that's what I asked. 
I don't think so. I'm a very practical little girl, and I don't believe in giving any more than I get. And that might be pretty awkward for a matchbook salesman or whatever you are. Everybody needs matches. What do you sell, anyway? Self-confidence. God knows you have it to spare. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. No kiss? very bad today. I am. You belong in bed, Miss Flynn. Here, I'll give you part of mine. <laughs> I'm not. But you must. I've seen girls with this look before. Bed is the only thing that will cure them. <laughs> bed without dinner might cure you. You better behave, or I won't kiss you goodnight, and then you'll be sorry. <sighs> You'd better behave, or I'll tell your mother. your objection to Myra? Same as anybody's. I stopped by your place, picked up your mail. It's just bills, I'll take care of them. I can take care of my own bills, Lily. Whatever you say. The manager at your place said your boss called. Really pulled the wool over everyone's eyes, huh? What are you talking about? So I've got a job, so what? Stop kidding me. Four years in a town like Los Angeles and a peanut-selling job's the best you can do. Expect me to believe that? Well, it's there. The boss called. You said so yourself. That dump you live in? Those clown pictures on the walls? I like those. You do not. Roy Dillon. Cornball clown pictures. Commission salesman. It's all a front. You're working some angle, and don't tell me you're not, because I wrote the book. You're what to talk. You still want to play back money for the mob? That's me. That's who I am. You were never cut out for the rackets, Roy. How come? You aren't tough enough. Not as tough as you, huh? How'd you get that punch in the stomach, Roy? I tripped on a chair. Get off the grift, Roy. Why? You haven't got the stomach for it. Oh, good, Carol. Come in. Dr. Mitchell says you can get out of here Friday but that you should have someone to look in on you, so I hired Carol. You hired? <laughs> Pay me back, I know that. Lily, I make my own decisions for a long time now. But Roy, you couldn't possibly object to a pretty young lady coming to visit you. Carol? Do you know why my mother hired you? <laughs> well, yes, I'll come in every afternoon and make sure you... She hired you for me to fuck. Keep me away from bad influences. Isn't that right, Lily? It is not. Um, sit down outside. Go wait in the hall. Don't go away. Didn't have to do that. I thought I did. So you won't take a thing from me, is that it? Sex? 
You've got to settle your bill today. Joe, don't I always pay my bills? Huh? One way or another? Yeah, well, this time, it's just one way. Stop getting up nights, men. You two could learn to dance. All you need is a magic step. Simple as one, two, three. your bill. It's a lot of money, Joe. You wouldn't have padded it. You owe every damn cent of that. Maybe I could get the dough from your wife, do you suppose? Maybe your kids had cracked their piggy banks. You take one step towards my family and I promise oh, you. Don't wet your pants for Christ's sake. you stay here month it can't after month. be done joe all passengers must pay as they enter no free passes or rebates that's a strict rule of the intercourse commerce commission oh, God. only one choice to a customer the lady or the loot what's it gonna be The difference between your folded towel and your clean towel is a trip to the laundry. When you're cleaning those bathrooms, what you do is you pick up the towel, you give it a good shake and a good look, and you say to yourself, would I dry myself in this towel? If the answer is yes, you fold it. What if it's wet? Mr. Dillon, welcome back. 
You'll be fine. Just fine. Thank you, Mr. Sims. I'm feeling fine. I'm glad you're better. Sickness comes to us all, Mr. Dillon. That's true, Mr. Sims. We never know when. We never know why. We never know how. The only blessed thing we know is it'll come at the most inconvenient, unexpected time. Just when we've got tickets to the World Series. And that's the way the permanent waves. Well... That fella could be a congressman. If it's wet, you don't fold it. You shake it and hang it neatly on the rod below. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. No, never mind, Joe. It's just, I was remembering at lunch on the menu it said, Today's special. Boiled hot house tomato. A generous slice of ripe cheese. I buy you that dress, you piece of shit. Well, I guess so. You're the guy I work for. I'm the guy you work for, huh? Yeah. In that case, I may just flush you down the toilet. Take me to my hotel. Hello, Mr. How'd you figure? I must take the pals catching in for all that bag, are you? They giving you the same kind of screwing you gave me. I was down on that horse boat, but maybe not as much as I should have been. There was a lot of action on those... Watch it. You want to stick that story or you want to keep your teeth? I want to keep my teeth. All right. I'll ask you another. You think I got no contacts out here? That nag paid off at almost the opening price. There wasn't hardly a flutter on the tote board from the time the first odds were posted. There ain't enough action to tickle the tote board and you claim a ten grand win. You send me ten thousand dollars back, I'm a fucking mark you can rip off. No, Bobo, I didn't. Talk to me straight up. My son. Your what? My son was in the hospital. What the fuck are you doing with his son? He left home a long time ago. He was in the hospital up in Los Angeles. He was real sick. Motherhood. Never fucked up before, Bobo. You got any kind of long coat in the car, something you could wear warm over your dress? No. I'll own your raincoat. You guys take a walk. about the oranges, Lily? You mean the insurance, Framus? Tell me about the oranges, Lily. How do you put those in the towel? You hit a person with the oranges wrapped in the towel. They get big, ugly-looking bruises. But they don't really get hurt, not if you do it right. It's for working scams against insurance companies. 
And if you do it wrong, it can last if you're inside. You can get. <laughs> What? Permanent damage. You never shit right again. Bring me the towel. Oh, I almost forgot. Ten grand, George. Troubadour, huh? <laughs> you want a drink? She, uh, I better not if that's okay. I still got to drive up to Los Angeles. See you son, huh? That's nice, Lily. Side of you I never knew. <laughs> He's a good kid. Salesman. On the square, huh? How are you making out these days? Stealing much? From you? The folks didn't raise no stupid kids. You're not skimming a thing, Lily? Oh, well, you know. Clip the butt here and the butt there. Not enough to notice. That's right. Take a little, leave a little. The person who don't look out for himself is too dumb to look out for anybody else. He's a liability. Right, Bobo? Well, that's a thousand percent right, Lily. Or else he's working an angle. If he's not stealing a little, he's stealing a lot. You know it, Lily. You know what? I, I like that suit, Bobo. I don't know what there is about it, but... Somehow it makes you look taller. Yeah? Yeah. You, you really think so? Yeah. A lot of people have been telling me that. Well, you can tell them from me they're right. Well, I'd best be going. Royal wonder where I am. Worries about his mother, don't he? <laughs> you give him a hug for me. I will. Over there. Well, we'll rent a car. Expender. 
can't see nothing yet. Hey, where's so many people? Race is with the way. Where your mother is? You don't want to see her, do you? Nope. Get the beach, eat well. It's good enough for me. I stretch my legs. You want to come along? Sailor boys. Working the what? Oh, come on, Roy. The cat. What you do for a living? I'm a salesman. You're on the grift. Same as me. Myra, I'm not following this. Roy, you're a short con operator. And a good one, I think. Don't talk to me like I'm another square. You talk the lingo, what's your pitch? The long end, big con. Nobody does that single out. I was a team ten years with the best in the business. Cole Langley. I've heard the name. It was beautiful. And getting better all the time. Is that right? It is, Roy. It's where you should be. What do you bring in, three, four hundred a week? We use money like that for tips. Wow. And now, right now, is the perfect time. 
The best time since I've been in the game. of oil fell, so did they. They still got money, but they need more money. When the oil money was good, they put up all these office buildings. Now they're half empty. They'll give you anything to move in. First two months free, redecoration, whatever you want. They help you set up the store. Master Heavy, may I present my fine stockbroker, Henry Fellows? Master? What we have here today, Mary Beth, is strictly the Oh, I told Mr. Heavy all about it. How brilliant you are at making money for your special clients. Well, I certainly hope that you're not spreading the news a little too widely. Huh? Well, of course not. But I trust Mr. Heavy with anything. Wouldn't I, darling? Well, I guess I'll just have to take your word for that. Won't I? Here's the money. Once they saw that money, they were hooked. And I made sure they saw it. Ooh, isn't that just beautiful? Then, all Cole had to do was tell the story. Gloucester, <clears throat> we are talking about breaking the law here. I just want to make sure you understand that. No one's going to get hurt, but the law is going to be broken. Laws are made to be broken, aren't they? Loose talk is the thing I worry most about. I can keep my mouth shut. Buster, come on over here and sit down. Now, <clears throat> Tokyo Exchange is nine hours behind us. The New York Exchange is one hour ahead of us. There is never one hour in which both exchanges are open. Information moves, but it has to wait. Now, I have a fellow working for me. Do you know what a hacker is? Uh, yeah, sure. That's like a computer expert, yeah. a genius. Very good. And what this boy has been able to do is tap into that main link between Tokyo and New York. And when we really need it, he's been able to give us a seven-second delay in the transfer of that information. Do you know what that means? Well, I can see that you get your information ahead of New York. Every once in a while, a major change happens. And we have a seven-second advantage to put a buy order, a sell order, into that computer in New York just before that data from Tokyo comes pulling in right behind it. Not much time. No, we have to be ready. We have to have the money. We have to know what that information means, and we have to be able to move like greased lightning. But boy, when it works, it is beautiful. <laughs> Seven seconds, huh? I don't see how you can do it. <laughs> machines! Machines, Gloucester! I have got a whole room full of machines back here. You want to see them? Come here. Oh, Henry, no. Come on, take a look. I got a whole suite full of mainframe computers. We're not really interested, oh, Henry. They are so beautiful. No, Henry. Oh, you got a minute. Come on, Gloucester. Listen to him, hum. <laughs> Henry, don't try Mr. Hemming's patience. You sure? Well, okay then. Cole liked to take risks, huh? He didn't think they were risks. He was so good, Roy, he could just play with a mark. He was so crooked, he could eat soup with a corkscrew. And when he got serious? He'd explain that he had to have cash, so there wouldn't be any paper trail for the SEC. And a lot of cash, it wasn't worthwhile. The least we ever took was 40000 and the most was $185,000 from one sucker. I thought these people were broke. No, no, Roy, just cash poor. They had savings accounts, stocks to sell, houses to mortgage, 
sell their wife's jewelry. Oh, they had plenty of money when they put their minds to it. Or when I put their minds to it. And a month later, the sucker calls the cops, and you're on the run. No, no. He never calls the cops. Not after we give him the blow-off. Still the best long con rubber you'll ever see. I bet you are, too. Now you're trying to rope me. Join up with you. <laughs> A beautiful woman like you, you shouldn't need a lot. Go away. <laughs> What do you want to get along for? Can I have some more coffee, please? Coming up. Oh, we could have coffee together. Oh. My name's Kenny. Your pal wants you. Let him find his own pretty woman. This fella bothering you, miss? Yes. Why don't you go back there and just go sit down? I'll sit here. You all right? She didn't need to do that. I thought I did. You should take better care of your friend. Get out of here. Okay. I'm sorry a lady can't eat in here without being bothered. Never happened again, miss. See you later. Why do we have to have separate rooms? Expect your father to come through? Separate bathrooms, darling. I will not lay out all my cosmetics for you to knock over. Things that Madison's supposed to know. Well, you don't mind, really, do you, Roy? It's been such a wonderful evening. I guess I just wore myself out. Sure. I'm pretty tired myself.
forget the long con. Because I'm the one who's being conned. Screw this noise. Yeah. Open your door. What for? Open it and find out. came down yesterday. We're leaving tonight. If you come out to the track, don't know me. We won't hit the track. What's that? Four grand. It's for the hospital. Is it enough? Roy, I don't want your money. I pay my debts. Oh, you do? Yes. Expecting somebody? No. That was the point. Where'd you get that? An accident? Roy, take that money back. I don't want it. No. I thought... I was hoping we could play it straight with one another. I guess not. I guess you won't be getting a straight job, either. Not this week. Not ever. It's up to me. I'm strictly short, Don. It's nothing but small-time stuff. I can walk away from it any time I want. Where have I heard that before? Yeah, but I'm in control. Sure. You're only 25 years old. Already you can lay down four grand without even turning a hair. Griff's like anything else, Roy. You don't stand still. You either go up or down, usually down sooner or later. Well, I'll let it be a surprise, then. You gonna head east from here? After the meet. Back to Baltimore. It's nice to see you again. Him. Just wait. Hold it. That's the guy we follow. Just wait.
track. What were you doing at the track? Did you run into my mother? No, how could I? I was in the clubhouse. Lily wouldn't be in the clubhouse, would she? How did you know that? Okay, I saw her. She didn't see you, in other words? I saw her out there, and I was curious. You know, she's always so nasty to me. And I know she's knocking me to you every chance she gets. So, I called a friend of mine in Baltimore, so now I know who she is. You must have some very knowledgeable friends. I'm well-connected, Roy. Cole introduced me to a lot of people. Very valuable. Valuable for us. Running your broker scam in me. <laughs> what a team we'll make. You won't regret this, Roy. Regret what? I didn't say I was kind of born. But why not? I thought it was settled. Nothing was ever settled. It's your mother talking against me, isn't it? She's got nothing to do with this. I make my own decisions. It's not what Lily thinks. Who cares what she thinks? I don't care what she thinks. I left home when I was 17 with nothing but stuff I bought and paid for myself. Nothing for nothing. my chauffeur, he says that there's a sucker there that's made for us, and a broker that just shut down. We can use their office and not change a thing. Now, I can scrape up ten grand if I try. I got a couple of aces in the hole, some markers I could call on for something real. That leaves fifteen or twenty for your end. We can start this weekend, get the sucker into position. Hold it. You're talking some pretty tall figures. What makes you think I got that kind of money? Why, well, you must have. Now you know you do, Roy. Maybe I like it where I am. Well, maybe I don't. I had ten good years with Cole, and I want him back. My God, I have a partner. I looked and I looked, and believe me, brother, I kissed a lot of fucking frogs. And you're my prince. Do I get any say in this? No, because... That's what I say. What I say is no. We need two partners. What is it? What's going on? Why don't you want to team up? The best reason I can think of is that you scare the hell out of me. I have seen women like you before, baby. You're double tough, and you are sharp as a razor, and you get what you want or else. But you don't make it work forever. Sooner or later, the lightning hits. But I'm not going to be around when it hits you. My God. It's your mother. It's Lily. What? Sure it is. That's why you act so funny around each other. What's that? Oh, don't act so goddamn innocent. You and your own mother? Ugh. You like to go back where you've been, huh? Watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah, I'm wise to you. I should have seen it before, you rotten son of a bitch. How is it, huh? How do you like it when... That's not like me. I don't do this. That's why we wouldn't work together. You're disgusting. Your mind is so filthy, it's hard to look at you. Goodbye. Yeah? Lily, I 
was wondering if, um, I was wondering if we could just talk. You know, like have a conversation. Maybe we've both grown up. Cook meal, you know. Well, that's good news. Well, who's a boy going to talk to if not his mother? Listen, it's Irv. You've always been decent with me. I'm taking a hell of a chance here. Somebody blew you out with Bobo. The car full of money, he's... Billy? Mm -hmm. Billy! Phoenix. You like a single room for tonight? Yeah. 
Everything's the same size, same price. I'm a very light sleeper. Traffic noise keeps me wide awake all night. And the trucks. I know what you need. Do you have something around back facing away from the road? Uh, I could put you in a 19. Very quiet. Faces the desert. Sounds perfect. Can I park my car back there? Right in front of the room. Sorry, I thought you were the other lady. No, I'm me. I'll give you number six. Very nice room, very handy. And the front, right by the pool. Oh, don't you have something around right back? Where it's quieter? Everybody wants the back tonight. I guess everybody wants privacy.
bunch of money hidden in your mother's car. Uh, yeah. A lot of money. Would you know anything about that? No. I realize this is a shot. Mostly, I don't believe it. Well, that's natural. No, I mean, I don't believe it. I know my mother. Lily is not a suicide. Nothing would make her check out. I'm sorry. It was her all right. It's her gun, even. Gun? Normally we don't do a next of kin ID unless there's no other choice. In this case, there's no fingerprints on file and dental records don't help because of the location of the wounds. She ate the gun. I'm sorry. This is going to be a shock. Not many laughs in this room, huh? Not many. Remove that, we'll want a full identification. Jesus. No question, huh? Said then. Yeah. That's that. Oh, Roy, 
You scared me. You going somewhere? Somewhere else, that's for sure. I just came back from Phoenix. Oh, yeah? Is the frame holding? It looks very solid, Lily. Take a minute. Tell me about it. How'd you really got to go? You're dead, Lily. It worked. Yeah, but not for long. Cops may buy it, but Bobo will spend money to make sure. Even so, relax a minute. Sit down. Just for a minute. Put that down. Myra followed you, huh? Yeah. I guess she must have been the one that blew me off with Bobo. To get me running. Did you tell her about my stash? No. That's what she was after, though. What happened at Phoenix? Oh, Roy. It was terrible. You read about people killing people and all that. When it happens, my God. She was in her nightgown, you know. The old grifter's dodge. Nightgown in the ice bucket, and she just got in the wrong room by mistake. Bobo and the law after me. Stay, how do I explain? This way's perfect. It is, isn't it? I've wanted out of the rackets for years, and now I'm out. I can make a clean break and... You've already made a break. I don't know how clean it is. I'm sorry, Roy. I hated to take your money. You're not taking it. Roy, I need this money. I can't run without money, and if I can't run, I'm dead. You must have some money. Just a few bucks. Myra stuff? Her credit cards, how far am I going to get with that? Far enough. San Francisco, St. Louis, someplace new. Start over. At what? You're smart, you're good-looking, you won't have any trouble finding a job. A job? I've never had a legit job in my life. Well, you're going to start if you want to live through this. You're going to get a square job, you're going to lead a quiet life. If you start showing up at the tracks or any of the hot spots, Bobo's boys are going to be all over you. Roy, don't tell me what to do with myself. It's a big world out there. Not anymore. Lily, listen to me. It's good advice. I'm following it myself. What? You want me out of the racket? You want me off the grift? I think I'm going to get out. Roy, that's fine, but I don't have time for this. Bubbles after I my ass. I thought you'd be happy for me. After all, you're the one who's telling me what to do. Bubbles not after you. Bubbles after me. He's goddamn good, but so am I. Oh, what makes and you survive, think I'll let you get out here with my goddamn money? And to survive my way, I need money, and that leaves this. No. Want a drink? No. You probably shouldn't have one either. No, but I'm goddamn thirsty. Ice water? Sure, that sounds nice. I'll get it. Take whichever one you want. You wouldn't do that. You don't know what I'd do. You have no idea. To live. You'll live, Lily. No, it's bugging you, of course. Oh, I didn't know anything was. I wasn't a very good mother to you when you were a kid. It was pretty lousy of me, I guess. To be a child at the same time you were. Oh, for God's sake, Lily. I gave you your life twice. I'm asking you to give me mine once. 
I need the money, Roy. No. So, you're getting off the grift, huh? I might. That's good. You don't really belong on this side of the fence, you know? I don't. If you stayed a crook, you think you'd live to be my ripe age? Well, I don't see why not. Hmm. I guess I got it wrong, then. Seems to me I heard about a guy just your age who got hit so hard in the guts it almost killed him. Well. Oh, that's different. That doesn't count. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it, if I'm getting out? You're getting out? You're on the level? You don't need the money. So why the hell can't I take it? Lily, my money wouldn't last forever. And then what? Be stuck in some other part of the rackets with another bubble justice to slap you around and burn holes in your hand. If you can't change your life now while you're still relatively young, how could you do it when you were, say, crowding 50? This way you gotta go to the square root. Send me a card when you get settled. I can maybe help you out sometime. Roy, what if I told you that I wasn't really your mother? That we weren't related? What? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Sure you would. You don't have to tell me. Now, why would you like that, Roy? What are you talking about? Of course you're my mother. Of course you are. There's nothing more to talk about. I want that money, Roy. I need it. What do I have to do to get it? I mean, you won't give it to me, Roy. Thank <laughs> you. 